Hey guys, it's Danny, and for today's Food for Thought, I want to chat about courage. Now, in my last Food for Thought, which was Detox 360, I spoke about having the courage to feel all of your feelings, to be with the truth of who you are, and to lean into the spaces of your life and of yourself that really need your attention. But because oftentimes these are the very spaces that we are working so hard to avoid, this can be a very uncomfortable, difficult thing for many of us to do. And it truly takes a lot of courage to go there, to go into that space. What I find so interesting is that so many of us tell ourselves that we wanna have courage and that we wanna be courageous, but the truth is that in and of itself, courage does not feel good. Now let me explain. Okay, according to the dictionary, the definition of courage is this. The ability to do something that frightens you. Strength in the face of pain or grief. So in order to practice courage, we first need to be feeling pain, grief, and or fear. And then not only do we need to be experiencing them, we then need to choose to lean into them, to embrace them, to feel the discomfort of them completely and fully with no judgment, right? So basically what courage is and what actually has to happen is there are uncomfortable emotions arising and instead of going into that fight or flight, I'm gonna push them away, courage is I'm going to invite them in. I'm gonna make space for them at the table. I'm going to lean in, I'm going to listen, I'm going to see what it's all about. And that is not necessarily an easy thing to do, especially if you're not in the practice of being courageous. Now, Brene Brown, who I quote quite often, she's the author of Daring Greatly, and she has like a few other amazing books. Um, she says that in order for us to grow and evolve into the fullest expression of ourselves and who we're meant to be, we have to be willing to choose courage over comfort. And so this got me thinking about food and eating, of course, because I have to relate everything to food and eating. And I was thinking that, you know, for people that overeat or binge eat, or simply when you eat a little bit more than you want on a regular basis, right? What we're doing in those moments is food is providing the vehicle for us to remain emotionally comfortable. Now the irony is, is that usually we end up being physically extremely uncomfortable, but in the moment, food tends to comfort us and it gives us the ability to not feel or to avoid some of the uncomfortable emotions that might be riding in our lives, right? And remember guys, all a feeling is, is a vibration in your body and food just happens to do a wonderful job, especially when you overeat it, at weighing the body down, therefore slowing that vibration down so you don't feel it as much, right? You don't experience it as much. And so truly the work to be done is to practice, to bring that courage in, to invite courage in and practice being with the uncomfortable emotions. And remember, all of our emotions, again, are little messengers. And when you can be with them and look at them and understand them, they will be holding a wealth of information for you. Because when we can courageously stand in the truth of who we are, then and only then do we not necessarily need to overeat, to overcaffeinate, to oversugar. We don't need those things to distract us from ourselves. So I wanna bring it back to you, right? Where in your life can you begin to invite in a little bit more courage? What have you been avoiding? procrastinating on, pushing away, not dealing with, et cetera, et cetera. And can you begin to lean into, a little, lean into it a little bit more with the willingness to understand it so that you can then move through? I would absolutely love to hear anything you guys have to say on this down in the comments below. As you know, I try to answer all of your comments. So please come down and let's chat. And when I'm not here on YouTube, I am on social media almost every day of the week, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you're not following me there already and you would like more daily clean and delicious inspiration, come on over and check me out there as well. Thanks guys so much for watching. I am Danny Spees. See you back here soon with some more Food for Thought.